everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making sweet potato gnocchi and we have made a lot of kinds of gnocchi on this channel. We made cauliflower gnocchi and regular potato gnocchi and it's so easy to make, it's so delicious and it's so satisfying for this time of year when it's cold out. We're gonna pair it with some broccolini and hazelnuts and like a browned butter sauce and it's gonna be delicious. This is perfect if you wanna make something like this for a Valentine's Day for you and your significant other, you and your friends, or you by yourself while you sit at home and watch The Office. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. It's super easy to make, very delicious, so let's get into it. To start this off, we're gonna take three sweet potatoes and I already washed these and I am just going to pierce them with a fork and we're gonna be lazy and microwave these. You can also roast them, but you do not want to boil these because we want to have the potatoes be more dry. So I'm just gonna microwave them for like 15 minutes. While that's boiling, we can start on our broccolini. And if you don't know, when you add I-N-O, I-N-I, I-N-E, I-N-A to anything in Italian, it means little. So basically broccolini just means little broccoli. As you can see, the florets are a lot smaller than typical broccoli, in case you wanted a lesson today. <laughs> so I'm just chopping off the stems and we're gonna peel off the leaves. And that's pretty much it. This is about eight ounces of broccolini. You can add as much or as little as you like. Then I took hazelnuts, half a cup, and we are just going to chop those up. And maybe there's a better way to do this, but I just did it with a knife and just took like a minute to just chop these up. So once your sweet potatoes come out of the microwave, be careful because they're gonna be really hot. Let them cool off. They're nice and soft and cooked. And I'm just cutting them in half just to help them cool off even more. But please, please, please be careful. I do not want you to burn your hands or burn your fingers. So just cut them in half and let them hang out there for like a minute so they can just cool off and you don't have any issues. So then once they've cooled off, we are just going to scrape the insides out and place it into a bowl. Simple, easy. And you just want to get as much as the potato out as you can. Give it a real good scrape. So I'm just scraping them out and I'm putting them into a nice big bowl and then I'm adding a little bit of salt and if you want to you can add a little sugar here but I don't think it's necessary but if you like it a little sweeter you can and now we're just going to mash. You can also use a potato ricer if you have one but mashing it works totally fine. Just mash it as smooth as possible. So once it looks something like this and there were no big clumps we're going to start to slowly add in flour. So I'm going to start with half a cup and we're gonna mix it together. The key to light and fluffy gnocchi that's not dense and gummy is to add in as little flour as possible. That's why we didn't boil the sweet potatoes and we roasted them or well, microwave them in this case so they were really dry. So I'm just slowly adding in flour until I feel like I've reached a point where there's a good dough. So it's gonna be really, really sticky at first and you're gonna feel like it's not coming together, but it will. So I added in everything at about half cup or quarter cup increments so i poured my sweet potato mixture out and now i just kind of got my hands in there and as you can see it's still sticky when i move it around it's sticking to my counter it's sticking to my hands and we want to get the stickiness out if that makes sense so this is why you're just going to start slowly adding in flour i added in about a cup and three quarters cup of flour this can vary depending on how big your sweet potato is how much moisture there is in it so just Add it in slowly, add it in quarter cups at a time and just keep kneading. And once it is no longer sticky, once it doesn't stick to the counter, once it doesn't stick to your hands, you're pretty much good. But the trick is to just add in as little flour as possible so it doesn't get really dense and heavy. So here I cleaned off my counter and you can see I'm touching it. It's not sticking to my hands. I can pick it up. It's not really sticking to the counter anymore a little bit, but that's okay. So this is done. And we're gonna also lightly flour it again. You can always keep adding more flour in. Once you add in too much, then you're kind of screwed. So I am just going to take a knife and cut this kind of rectangular shape into long strips. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of flour and roll it into more of a log shape and we can just cut our gnocchi out and I just cut them about the same size because they're all gonna cook together. So if you make them different sizes and the cooking time is gonna be different. So I like to cut them and then roll them into little balls. You can make the pretty design with the fork. You can leave them like this, whatever you want, totally your decision. And this made a really decent amount of gnocchi. I got 73 gnocchi from this. So it's 
per a good amount of yolky. And I just like to roll it into the little balls because I think it looks cuter. Well, that one slipped out. <laughs> and then once you've rolled them all up, they will look something like this. And now we are ready to move on to cooking these guys. All your hard work is done. This is the easy part. So into a pan, I am going to take some vegan butter and I'm going to toast my hazelnuts for like two to three minutes just till they get a little bit crispy and toasty. It's better this way. Then I'm going to scoop them out because I don't want them to burn. So you just want to scoop them out, put them in a different container. If a few of them stay in there, it's totally not a big deal, but we just don't want them to burn. That's the only reason. Then we're going to add our broccolini into here. So I am going to add a little bit of water, about half a cup. And then we are going to add in the broccolini and we're just going to cover it and just let that cook while we cook our gnocchi. So to cook gnocchi is very easy. I am just going to put them in some salted water. They're gonna cook for about three to five minutes until they float to the top. You might need to give them a little stir. They might get stuck. And then once they float to the top, they're all done. I am going to put them into the pan with the broccolini now, and we're gonna make them crispy. You can also eat them just like this, but I like them a little crispy. So I'm adding a little more vegan butter. I'm gonna add in our gnocchi, and just gonna let them cook for as long as we want until they're as crispy as you like. I'm also adding some garlic powder to give a nice flavor. And that's it, just mix them all together. And you wanna cook your gnocchi in batches, maybe like 20 to 25 at a time just so that way the pot's not overcrowded. And as you can see, they turn nice and golden brown and crispy, and I just love it like that. I think it's so much more delicious, honestly. And I'm just continuously adding garlic powder in and a little bit more vegan butter as I add the more gnocchi in. And then we can add in those hazelnuts towards the end once all your gnocchi are done cooking. We can add in some vegan fresh parm if you want. You don't have to add it in, but I like it. Just give this a toss together and really it's up to you to let the gnocchi get as crispy as you like. You want to cook them for probably at least 10 minutes, but once you get it to the level of crispy you like, then you are good to go. And that is it. These are delicious. So I'm just sprinkling some extra hazelnuts on top, some extra vegan parm, and that is it. This easy, beautiful dish is all done. It is so delicious, so good. I know you guys are gonna love it. And it's a very impressive dish, I think. All right, guys, so our sweet potato gnocchi with the hazelnuts and broccolini are all done and it looks amazing. Kitchen smells so, so good. As you can see, it's not really a hard recipe to make. It's pretty easy, just a little time consuming, but so well worth it. You get probably about, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm still a little sick. You probably get about three to four servings, depending on how big you're serving and like how, like if it's the only thing you're serving. Does that make sense? Like if it's the only thing you're gonna be serving, then you're gonna make a bigger portion size. You know what I mean? So yeah, I just figured I'd give you guys a little taste test real quick. All right, so we got everything on here. We got the hazelnuts, broccolini, and the gnocchi, so. So what I like about this is, first of all, the crispiness of the gnocchi is so good. I love that. You're getting like the garlicky powder. You're getting a little bit of the sweetness. These aren't overly sweet. So if you want it to be sweeter, you can add sugar in. But I like that it's not overly sweet. And then you get like the, the nuttiness of the hazelnut with the butter and the saltiness. It's, it's delicious. You guys have to try it. And if you don't like broccolini, you could use kale or spinach or... You know to put broccolini or anything in there if you don't want to. Super potato gnocchi also works really well with pesto. So that's another thing you could do if you want. All right, guys. So that was our recipe. I have Roxy here because she was barking and wanted to come hang out. So yeah, that was our recipe. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. As always, four recipes down below in the description box and on my blog. If you make this, please be sure to tag me on Instagram. I love to see recreations. And if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps the channel out. We're growing so much now and it's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday with another video. Bye.